Why does he get pants? Uh, so women had no rights. They were basically, they, if they didn't have a husband or a father or a brother, uh -huh. they had, they couldn't own property, they could they had no rights at, at all. Oh, that, that's what she meant. Oh, yeah. when, when was it? Oh, not that long ago. Actually, oh, really? 200 years. When yeah. They wrote the 200? <laughs> well, no, actually, did you only, know? Only 200, okay. okay. Did, did you know that women could not get credit of their own until 1974? I'm sorry, the credit? Credit, like a credit card. Oh, really? No, no, yeah, you had to have... You couldn't get it as a, a woman. Your husband had to sign for you. Hmm. That's discrimination. Yes, well, welcome That's... to the women's world. <laughs> I love women. Yes, <laughs> well, we need more men to support women. Well, that's absolutely true. All right. So, and you're protesting. Oh, so, wait. I should not be more regulated. So, our uteruses shouldn't be more regulated than a gun. So there are more regulations on whether or not we have access to uh -huh. birth control uh -huh. than people have access to guns. I see. So the guns... Uh... There's no tax on guns. If I want to buy, let's say, period stuff, there's lots of taxes on that. There's just stupid stuff. Like, I see. So we should not have any guns whatsoever. Just try. No, no, no guns. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying... That oh, okay. So I'm not saying... Uh, regulated. Regulated. Oh, I see. Okay. I think we should be regulating what my rights and my ovaries are. Huh. I think that for women, uh -huh. some of the issue is that Republican members of Congress mm -hmm. are much more willing to let an 18-year-old go in and buy a weapon, uh -huh. and they go into the school and shoot up the kids, but uh -huh. a woman who's 35 years old carrying a child that isn't viable uh -huh. has to carry that child to term, or you know, a teenager who is raped by a relative uh -huh. has to carry that child to term. And so, but is this really the case? It is. In really? cases like Oklahoma, but it, but Oklahoma, Arkansas, yeah. They but isn't there sort of an exception? I mean, the... You would think that we're... So, do you know what an epoptic pregnancy is? It's when you're... The fertilized egg uh -huh. becomes embedded in the fallopian tube. Uh -huh. The only thing that can happen in a pregnancy... You're not filming yet, right? Uh, let me see. Oh, actually, it's on. You don't mind, do you? Yeah, I do mind. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay, never mind that. Uh, so, the uh -huh. only thing that can happen... Uh -huh. You're not filming me, right? Well, it's it's on. It's always on. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not pointing point to you. Point okay, fine. <laughs> yes, it's not the pointing. The only thing that can happen uh -huh. is the woman dies because the baby begins to grow in the fallopian tube. Uh -huh. People were, who are in charge of legislating didn't even understand what that was uh -huh. and made abortions in that case illegal in some states. Which doesn't make any sense, right? Because the woman's going to die anyway. The woman's going to die anyway. The woman's going to die anyway. Because the baby can't grow in a fallopian tube. Oh. The baby grows in the uterus. Oh, that's right. Uh -huh. yeah. So she's going to die. The pregnancy is viable, and yet mm -hmm. she can't have the. So why? That's her point. I see. <laughs> that's her point. She's talking about like, why are you so willing to regulate women's bodies, but you're not willing to regulate? The common sense gun legislation like raising the age to 21 uh -huh. or red flag laws uh -huh. or things that really most people can agree on are not crazy. But what's, what's a red flag law? A red flag law is say you know someone uh -huh. who has threatened to you know purchase a gun and go shoot up a movie theater or a school or something like that. Uh -huh. you can call like your friend, your neighbor, your, neighbor, your relative. Yeah, uh -huh. you, know, you suspect you that suspect might, that they might uh -huh. be creating a dangerous situation. Uh -huh. Then you can report them and the police can investigate. See, I come from the USSR originally. That kind of reminds me. Oh, you come from the USSR? Yes. So that kind of reminds me of, you know, the system uh, where people would kind of, you know, report on each other. Don't so, you think so? Well, I don't know. I'll give you a really good example. My yes. son goes to school in Florida. Uh -huh. And he was... There was a student uh -huh. who was not doing well, uh -huh. and he went and bought some guns, just like the situation that people are talking uh -huh. about, where, you know, he's not 21 yet, uh -huh. he went into the gun shop, uh -huh. he bought the guns, he bought the ammunition, uh -huh. he was planning on going to the school the next day uh -huh. to shoot it up, uh -huh. and a friend of his, uh -huh. at 4 a.m., uh -huh. called the police and said, this guy is going to shoot up the school in the morning. That's, they arrested him coming out of his house. It's a little bit different, I guess, when you have... It's not like 
Uh, but it's when you like suspect him, someone, it's oh. It's like in Russia, where it's like you're... Well, but again, where, where do you draw the line? I mean, in this case, yeah, I agree with you. If you really have hardcore evidence, yeah. at this time, he has the guns, he's about to do it, well, you report to police, yes, it's a good act. But if you know, let's say, your neighbor happens to have 10 guns, what are you supposed to do? Report to the police as well? No, you have 10 guns, five true. guns? I, I think that the controversy is like, uh -huh. it's not about responsible gun owners. There okay. are millions of responsible gun owners. Well, thank you. Guys. Exactly. There responsible. <laughs> That's it's the key the, word. It's the That's right. Uh -huh. use of weapons, I think. That's but the but then if that's the case, then maybe we don't really have a niche. I mean, after all, guns are regulated. We're... I don't know. So are you, are you here pro-gun today? I'm just trying to, you know, understand, pick, the issue. understand the issue. Exactly. Okay. So I had a brother who died in the shooting, right? Oh, I'm so sorry. Right. So your your own brother. My own brother. So that's, that's very personal. Right. Uh -huh. My own brother. Uh -huh. And it was a stupid accident. Uh -huh. It was preventable. Uh -huh. They all had hunter safety. They all knew how to treat a gun. Uh -huh. They all knew better. Uh -huh. And because kids are kids, they started playing with the gun. It accidentally went off. It how old, hit my how old brother. Was he was 16. Uh -huh. You don't. Then it's, it's a, a right. parent's it, responsibility. It, how, can you, how can you not the lock point. the guns? It's such a, that's the point. such a common sense basic thing to do. That's the point. You have so the guns, how, just lock them up. How do we do that? Lock the guns. But that's how do you do that when there are, so there are one to two shootings every day uh -huh. in America yes. where a child accidentally shoots someone else, whether it's another child or an adult. That is an irresponsible gun owner. Correct. Not locking up their gun. Correct. Yeah. How do so you that, solve that problem? You can't. There are stupid people you, out there. You can't. I mean, you really can't. And I think that. Think so? No. And I think that when it comes to the statistics, there are more people that are dying from gun violence who get the guns illegally, regardless. What about suicide? Well, if, there's so many ways. If you want to kill yourself, I mean, exactly. you can jump off the bridge. So it's exactly. not. Exactly. But uh -huh. there's a huge percentage of the population, uh -huh. and they're mostly middle-aged white men, who uh -huh. are killing themselves. And that's categorized as gun Hold on, hold on. It's categorized as gun violence, uh -huh. even though it's not. So a school shooting, a, a movie theater shooting, a, a concert shooting, they shock us. They shock right. us because it makes us feel unsafe, right? It makes yeah. us feel unsafe. It makes us feel out of control. And so that's what gets these kind of marches. That's what gets people out to do these kind of marches and to advocate, hold on, for common sense gun control. Okay. But common however, sense, yeah. however, I love, I love this word. Maybe, My favorite word. Maybe. Phrase. Uh -huh. um, maybe. <laughs> Yes, maybe. I don't. <laughs> I don't like cameras. Please do not. Ask me not. Maybe there's a way uh -huh. to. So we know that gun locks uh -huh. make a person pause. If it. Oh, I'm sorry, say it again. Ah, gun locks. Pause. Like a gun lock. A gun lock. Yeah. Uh, so taking a gun and shooting yourself is a bit impulsive, isn't it? A yeah. Impulsive. I, and I, I, and this I is don't also, know. I, I mean, I also know of a uh, person who, he was a um, uh, Navy SEAL, uh -huh. he had PTSD, uh -huh. he didn't feel like he could talk about it because it affected his military service, he, he shot himself on Veterans Day. But when we talk about the statistics, and correct me if I'm wrong, there are more people that are dying from gun violence when there are basically street gun violence. And, and when, it, when it comes to, to a specific race but, and the population, the it's the is, blacks, the blacks what? against blacks. That's, that's, where, that's not untrue. That's the statistics. Hold on. Yeah. No, it's not. If you look no. at the statistics, uh -huh. if you look at quote unquote gun deaths, uh -huh. you can look it up right now. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. The larger percentage of gun deaths uh -huh. are suicide. Suicide. There's they nothing. are suicide. Things that make the news are, are violence in inner cities, are mass shootings. Those are the things that make the news. Uh -huh. But people who are dying are tell dying them, sister, in Tell them, sister. Tell them. Tell them. They're dying. Give it to them. Yes. She's giving it yes, to sir. Sure. She's giving yes, it to them. Yes, sir. Do you want to join the conversation? She's giving it to them. Do you want to join the conversation? Help him out. Okay, so help her out. So we're talking about who dies more from gun violence. Is this uh, suicide? Or, or is this, I'm sorry to say, the gun violence of uh, street gun violence? No, it's, no, it's no, not. It's not. It's I'm not. wrong. Okay. It's not. The majority of mass killings are not from the streets. There's but not. you do have street violence. We can't we can't you deny do. that. But you do, but, but the majority, the majority are okay. dying from gun violence all over. Yeah. It's not just from the streets. Which it's which from will, all over. Look, the only thing you gotta do is look look, Columbine. Look 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 at all 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 the examples. It's horrible, but when we when we look at the number of casualties, Columbine pales by comparison as but, to but, how many but, but people but how, many, but how many Columbines you have? Not that many. A, you have not, a lot. No. Come on, where, where are you at? Statistically, where are you at in, in, in statistically how many people died? Wait, how many people died in Chicago right. over the weekend? Every right. on the weekends, every single day in New York City, every single a, day. How many men put a gun to their head and killed themselves over the weekend? Yeah, but more, it's, it's more, so more. Just because okay. it more. made the news okay. because there's some street violence that people ended up dead does not mean that that's how the majority of people are dying when it comes to guns. What's what's the other one? So this one, oh, sorry, so basically this sounds... Listen to her, she's telling you, she's giving you the, the I'm numbers. Trying, I'm trying she's to get the... She's giving you the okay, numbers. Okay, good. <laughs> and what, she's and what, giving what, it to her. What are the she's numbers? She's giving it to you. She just gave <laughs> okay. it to you. Pay attention to her. Okay? Yes, please. <laughs> More people are beat to death than are killed with rifles in the United States. Handguns. Okay. So handguns Where's are... Where's your system. source? Where's your source? Uh, CDC, Statista, and FBI. Okay, so I do data visualization. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. If you're going to come out here with statistics, you need to cite your source. All right, I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you very much. Because <laughs> I don't believe you. You don't? <laughs> you can look it up. Just saying. Like, I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, my point is just this. Yes, to rip it up. <laughs> Here is my point. Yes. There are things that can be done. Okay. That prevent gun deaths. And as okay. someone who has lost someone that I love very dearly from mm -hmm. a preventable gun death, mm -hmm. I think that we should be doing those things. You can bet that my mom regrets every single day of her life that she unlocked that gun. Because that gun was always locked up. Mm -hmm. Always. Every day. It was never unlocked. And the one time she leaves it out, Die. That's horrible. So you can bet that she regrets that. Oh, are Here's kidding my me. Point. My point is there uh -huh. are common sense, there's common sense legislation uh -huh. that we can all agree on. Okay. Then there are other things that we might be able to do through public service initiatives, community, like grassroots community efforts that encourage people to be more responsible gun owners whether that's providing free gun locks so that their children don't get a hold of a loaded gun, or just understanding that having a loaded gun in the house doesn't necessarily protect you when it could actually be more likely to kill someone you love. I agree with you, except just one thing. Personal responsibility. There is such a thing that there is called is personal, personal responsibility. responsibility. You're absolutely right. I can't my brother would be alive if my mother had not unlocked Exactly. Her gun. So no matter what the government would have done in this case, <laughs> it would have happened. For one, I'm really sorry to say it, for one very simple reason. Lack of responsibility that particular day. I mean it's horrible, it's a horrible accident. It is horrible. But you know, again, coming from the country where government control absolutely everything. Everything in the USSR, life wasn't any better or any safer over there at all, at all. But so, are you okay with the fact that a 21-year-old that you can't buy alcohol until you're 21? Yeah, but it's kind of irrelevant. Hold I mean, on, alcohol no. or the guns. Alcohol. Well, look, hold, the, on. The, it, hold up. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah, so yes or no answer. Yes. Are you okay with the fact that you have to be 21 to buy cigarettes? Yeah, absolutely. Then why is it I would have okay? banned cigarettes, actually, completely. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Why is it not okay uh -huh. to make the age of a purchase of a gun 21? What, what would be wrong with that? I can't, I can't argue for or against it. Why not? Because I don't know. I mean, I can't really say. 
whether it's safe to have a gun at 17 or 18 or 19, at which point would you consider a person to be responsible? I mean, when you look at the Obama's care, for example, you're a child until you're 26. You know, so when do you draw the line then? That's we a went, different we, issue. No, That's but, but no, issue. no, 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 no. It's, it's an issue it when, is, it's when the person issue. becomes responsible. And you can understand cigarettes and alcohol because it affects your health. When it comes to the guns... You don't think that guns are a national no, health issue? No, it's not a health issue. I mean, how, how is it a health issue? I mean, if you have a gun and you have responsible parents who lock their guns, and again, I'm really sorry for what happened in your particular family. It's, it's an absolutely horrendous thing. But had your mom locked the gun or kept it locked at all times or unlocked when she's at home, when I don't really see a reason why would you keep your guns unlocked in the first place. But anyway, you have the guns, you lock them. The kids have absolutely no idea where the key is. Your brother would be alive today. Yes, he would. Yeah. So would. I mean, it's a personal responsibility. It and is a personal re responsibility. But when you weigh the costs versus the benefit, nothing's going to change. What if? It would make no difference whatsoever. You don't think that that some effort and some money could be put into um, public service about? Look, here's a free gun lock. Do you need a gun lock for your home so your child doesn't lie? Die? I mean, free, free. There's nothing free. Somebody's paying for. It. I hate the word free. Oh. There's nothing free. What do you mean? The government will buy slug and gives it to gun owners for free, so they will lock, you know, their guns. But then they might well, not like it anyway. Like it it much, costs a few dollars. How much money so much. do you think gun lobbyists give our senators? But, but our, yeah, but it's it, again, it's, it's irrelevant. We're allowed to have guns. I mean, it's uh, based on our, you know, founding fathers' best on constitution. I mean, there's a war. I'll give you an example. There's war going in Ukraine today. And the guns were completely forbidden uh, for the citizens to have. When the Russia invaded Do you Ukraine, own guns? no, I don't. You don't own any guns. No, I don't own any guns. But you think it's true? I would love to have a gun, actually. Why I, don't you? I will at some point. I just I live in a safe neighborhood. I don't need a gun. I need a gun for protection. If we live in the neighborhood next to the police and the police all around us, I'd be waiting the gun for. So, what gave you the belief? Uh -huh. that having a gun would enable you to protect yourself well, better. It's so simple. Here's the situation. You're alone, and you're a woman. You're alone in the house, okay? And there is an invader with a gun. Your chances are zero to resist him. I mean, literally zero. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. If Here's the situation. A bad guy with a gun versus you with a gun. You definitely have a fighting chance. Definitely. All it takes I, is just pulling the trigger. I don't think that that's true because you or him or him yeah. can take the gun from me very easily. No, not very easily. If you're pointing a gun at you, you can't gun from me easily. Hell no. <laughs> it's just a trigger pull away. As simple as that. No, that's that's what I need. I think everybody has to has to have a gun for responsible citizens because. Irresponsible citizens, unfortunately, will get the guns anyway, no matter what the law and the legislation is, just like with uh, with the narcotics. They're totally legal, and yet, I mean, really? I'm sure you know some. Okay, so yeah. I, I gotta go find my friend. Sure, I'm sorry that they're here. <laughs> sorry. Where do you get your information? Like, what about, is your well, source of information? Well, how about these statistics that you repeat? Well, how about the common sense? Let's forget no, about no, this. No, no, no. No, no because. Because common sense got your repeating talking points that came from somewhere. You watch the news. Yeah. And you see on the news something sensational. Uh -huh. Right? You see a shooting here or yeah. something there. And yeah. it's sensational. And why do they put it's sensationalized information on the news? It's because that's what sells advertising. Right. No, no, not, if not you because... If you look it up, if you look up the actual statistics, just yeah. do yourself a favor. Okay. Look up the actual statistics. Uh -huh. Find out how uh -huh. many people are dying from suicide. How many people are dying from the type of violence that you're talking about. I think that you will see uh -huh. that it's dramatically higher for suicide. Okay, if, if... Let's assume that you're right. Let's assume that that's the statistics. How... Can it prevent people from unfortunately taking their own lives? It doesn't necessarily have to be a gun. There's so many ways, ways of but ending your life. A gun is an impulsive, an impulsive use. So There's nothing you can do about it. There's absolutely nothing. No, well, what can you do? Except healthcare, except 
Well, how about improving the economy? I mean, that's the issue. People lose their livelihood. They kill themselves. Improve the economy right there. You will save lots of lives. Just, just one of the, it's, it's just one of the examples. Instead of forbidding the guns, I mean, uh, making guns illegal, improve the economy. Just one example of how you can save more lives. Do you, do you, I, I know uh -huh. someone who owns two AR-15s. Okay. He, he, okay. People who own those kind of weapons uh -huh. already have money. They're expensive. And as is the, the ammunition to use them, it's expensive. No, but I'm not talking about, and he's not killing himself. But I'm talking about people who are killing themselves because they don't have the money. They have a cheap gun. They kill themselves with a cheap gun. Okay. So to, to prevent that person from doing that, improve the economy, it's just, just one simple way of, uh, of uh, reducing the number of suicides. No, seriously, think about it. No, I'm not disagreeing with okay. improving the economy. I'm not disagreeing okay. with improving the economy. And how do you improve the economy? There, therein lies the question. <laughs> well, elect the right people who are pro-business, pro-capitalism, and here we go, look at the Trump presidency, look at Biden's presidency. Huge difference, no? Look at the cost of gas, five dollars versus less than two dollars. And that's you think that's Biden's way Oh, hundred percent. Oh, absolutely. All right. Well, <laughs> good luck. I hope that you have the interview. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>